In addition to watching this video, be sure to check out the IntelliFire app user guide uh, that we have available online for additional instructions and information around the use of the IntelliFire app. But to get started, first thing we're going to do here after downloading the IntelliFire app and signing in is go ahead and click the plus icon located in the lower right hand corner. The plus icon is going to walk us through the setup process for a new appliance. You'll see this original screen here. Go ahead and click continue. On the top of your screen, what we're expecting here is that an IntelliFire network with some numbers and letters appears. This is going to be the network we're going to go ahead and connect to. So we're going to go ahead and leave the IntelliFire app, navigate towards our Wi-Fi settings on the phone. When we're in the Wi-Fi settings, we're going to look for that IntelliFire network. The IntelliFire network is being produced by the Wi-Fi module connected to your appliance. This is used to pass Wi-Fi information between the phone and your fireplace. So give this a few moments here as it uh, connects and we'll look for it to update to connected without internet. It's going to be expected as the module does not provide internet. It's merely a means of setting things up. So now we're going to go ahead and click connect. You should get a success message here connected to that certain appliance. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Here we're selecting the brand of your appliance. Uh, the brand in this case is going to be heat flow, but it could be any of these options for you. Here we're going to add a location. I'm going to call it YouTube here for the video tutorial. And then you add your zip code below for uh, outside weather conditions for your area. Go ahead and click continue after you've entered information in those fields. Next up is going to be your Wi-Fi list. This is the Wi-Fi networks in your area that the module has identified. Go ahead and click whichever one is going to provide your fireplace or our stove with the best internet connectivity. And then go ahead and click continue. The next screen is for entering the password for the network you selected previously. You just type that into that box right there. Uh, in my case, this Wi-Fi network does not have an internet password, so I'm going to check the box below. But once you've entered or checked the box, go ahead and Click continue there at the bottom. Right after you click continue, you should immediately hear that first beep from your appliance. That first beep indicates that your phone has sent information to the Wi-Fi module. Next step is going to be naming the appliance. I'm just going to name it YouTube, but for your purposes, just name it whatever's easiest to remember for you. Now what it's going to do is attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi router as well as our IntelliFire cloud. When you hear the second beep, that's going to indicate to you that the information you saved to it is correct for your Wi-Fi network. It was able to connect to your router, and finally it was able to connect to our IntelliFire cloud. So give this final process here about 30 seconds to wrap up. Once it's connected, you're going to get here this success message, and uh, this is the final step of the process. So once you click Done, you'll be able to go control all aspects of your fireplace via the app.